Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Unity of Command 2. We're here with the next conference and the final mission of the game. Let's take a look. So, we've gotten that their territory. Um, let's get rid of this for a bit. So, from what we can see indeed, we've basically pushed up to the Oder, captured Berlin. Then down here we did capture the Croatian capital, but not much further than that. And then of course we did get both Vienna and Prague over here as well. So this is already looking a lot better than it used to. Uh, but uh, I, I think uh, we still get to do a little bit better. So, last mission and last payment I suppose is demand the Polish self-determination. And let's approve that plan. Of course, we know that historically Stalin forced communism upon the Poles. And, well, we're actually in a much better position now to try and prevent uh, Stalin from actually doing that. Which means that we are going to try and do that, of course. There are a few... Um, HQs which are going to continue over to the final mission. I did check the campaign tree that the developers provided. Um, that's actually super handy uh, out here. They did uh, show that off in the last update as well, including the new scenario. So I actually know, uh, written down, which HQs do go over to Operation Unthinkable. And I'm going to upgrade those a bit. So the first one is the British second. Um, that one is going to partake. Let's do a few upgrades. I would actually like to have counterattack and recon and force for these guys. Entrenchment is okay, but I think it's too expensive to spend that. I might take it, this to 12 truck asset, but I'll see. US first will participate in that battle. The U.S. 3rd will also participate. The U.S. 5th, which is here. Already has these. And the Free French. And... Let's do that. Let's get them to 500. Let's go back to the U.S. 5th. Yeah. Then the U.S. 3rd already has everything. US first, let's also get that to 12. And the British second. There we have it. I think those are the most useful, and then we'll have 425 prestige to do, to do the last um, switches and upgrades to our units for the final mission. That hopefully will be enough. We'll, we'll see. Anyway, I. Oh, I forgot. I want to get rid of Ultra. And I suppose I'll get this B-26 bomber. That is about it. I'd rather have the saturation strike than the transport. Although I find the saturation strike to be exceptionally situational. It does have its uses, but uh, I would think that it's neglig of negligible importance on such a big mission as Unthinkable. Oh well, at least we got one bomber, which will help. Either way, it's June the 1st, 1945. After the Third Reich collapsed, an uneasy peace settled over Europe. However, tensions between East and West mounted quickly. The Western Allies refused to pull their forces back to previously agreed upon borders until they were satisfied that Stalin would not force a communist regime on, upon Poland. Furious at this perceived betrayal, and in the race against the bomb, Stalin has launched the Red Army westwards. Well, that's no good. Seems like we're gonna have to stop Soviet forces in this hypothetical scenario. I'm not so sure whether Hitler would, or uh, whether Stalin, of course, would do that that quickly, but uh, uh, we'll see. Chef Dispatch, we've managed to blunt the initial Soviet advances, Commander. Patton's third and 
Xi's second army have reorganized and are ready to lead a counterattack. Both armies have been granted considerable airborne forces. Additionally, Polish forces previously fighting with the Soviets have deserted en masse and will join Patton's troops should they reach them in time. Your end goal is to reach and secure the Vistula by early August. By then, we hope that the demonstration of a new type of weapon over Japan will bring the Soviets back to the negotiation table. Reinforcements in order to ensure success. Shav has reinforced the 13th US Airborne Division. Uh, yeah, I, I already did talk about how this should be renamed and I, I'm quite sure they did, but it doesn't show in my save file yet, of course. Um, yeah, okay, That's uh, it's a huge map. That's for sure. So the British Second Army is surrounded in quite large numbers. Seems like the Soviets have taken Berlin, but just barely. The US 8th Infantry Division is cut off for now. So we'll have to rescue those. We'll have to rescue the Polish First Army as well. That's oh, even Polish infantry. Okay. And yeah, no more crazy encirclements anywhere else. Right, we have some objectives. Warsaw, turn 10. Danzig, turn 10. Krakow, turn 12. Krakow. And Sandomierz on turn 12 as well. This seems to be tricky. Maul the Red Army take 200 prisoners. Holy moly. 200. Alright. Take Stettin by turn 1. Breslau by turn 5. And Frankfurt. And then Oder. On turn 5 as well. Okay, let, let's uh, let's start down here. Um, I'm going to do the regular steps first and then the specialty steps. I just want to see how far I get with regular steps because um, I think those are going to be the most important. And so I want to spend my prestige on the regular steps first. Uh, do you need steps? No, but you do. Oh, no, they don't. This, these are the CCB units. Okay, never mind. A lot of the Soviets also have armor, uh, uh, artillery. That I don't like. Not at all. Most of them are veterans. As well, some elites. Guards armies are elites. Okay. Mm hmm. You are up to snuff. Yeah, there. I'm not even looking at the special steps right now. Just making sure that I don't forget anything. This is naturally going to take a little bit longer than it usually does. But it can hardly be helped. Okay, so we've done the regular steps. A lot of prestige left. That's okay. Let's start reinforcing as well. French first. You guys are looking pretty hot. Um. Yeah, sure. I don't want to go overboard immediately. What does this Pershing do? Attack plus 12, defense plus 9, armor plus 4. Holy cow. That is obscene. Let's take away that there priest. And give them some M10s. Look, you gotta be a bit careful with that. Like, these guys also... What you doing with those M10s? That, that's just not necessary. 
Mm, they already have some. Oh, yeah, the recon is fine. Recon is good. Okay. These guys, they're just a regular. They have nothing else. Let's give them Shermans for now. I'm burning. Oh. Let's take that back. I'm burning through my uh, remaining prestige pretty fast. I might not have enough for all of them, so let's make sure that at the very least those units that really need it or that are most important do have what they deserve. Fifty for Hogwarts Honeys. No, that's just straight up not worth it. These are also regular. I mean, it's nice to have those armored units, but if they are just regulars, let's go up a little bit first. Because if I'm going to place those Pershings, I better just as well rather have them be an elite unit. Like at this point, I do already have to be a bit picky. We're just fine, but uh, can't do anything about these. Sixty-five left. These guys are elites, and I think hmm. You can get some Pershings. I don't mind getting a second the second priest for you guys. Then still have some engineers, huh? Well If I have something better than regulars, I'd be quite glad to dish those out, but Putting engineers on a regular is just asking for trouble. No, so it's definitely like American engineers. All right, well, let's put it on an armored unit then. At the very least, that might still help some. Then I'll just have to dish out what's left. Still have enough for one Pershing and or an engineers with something else. I mean, plus four armor for a unit is insane. So. Let's do that. And not all units have three steps, but I guess there we go. That's gonna be it. What do you have then? Funnies? Didi Schumann. Okay, so we've done that now for the next part pontoon bridges are they useful one over here is i can even create a pontoon bridge over there that might also be useful it will be tough for the russians to destroy that but I don't want to cross there in one go. That's just asking for trouble, most likely. Hmm. No bridges to repair. Then just entrenching some units. Where would that be useful? Well, I'm going to be on the offensive, so I don't think it's going to be necessary. 
Um, I will. Like, this is not useful there. But it is quite useful over here. That actually already saves me two. We're missing one right now, but that's okay. This also keeps my units in supply. These are cut off. Oh, there's also no railroad from up here. Yeah, that's only trucked. Okay. So these need to go to three. Then I have three in reserve for now. That should be okay. Now, I need to move the HQs. Oh yeah, this is also quite needed to keep that too. So never mind that. Now I need to move the HQs a bit forward. You are actually fine though. US 5th. Mainly these guys, you're fine. These guys are part of 3rd. Um, let's take a look what the 5th can do. No need for pontoon bridges. That's actually... Okay, which units do I want to dig in? I'm probably very likely to go around Grunberg, try to cut off enemy forces here. So let's dig you in. You. They can't attack across there, so... There we go. Like I said, this is taking exceptionally long, but it's kind of necessary. Pontoon bridges here. Not wanted. Mm. Digging in, not super necessary. Let's get onto the railroad. This is a better spot, I think, for the US first. British second. Like, what is this? It's a very strange bridge. It's hard to see as well why I would want something like that there. But I guess I'll take it. There's not a whole lot else they get to do anyway. And they don't have uh, entrenchment, so. All right, I think I'm all set. Let's get started. Yeah, this is a mission of epic proportions. Let's immediately get the B-26 bomber and also this out of the way because, well, we know we're going to use them this, uh, this mission anyway. So out here, I... My first objective, I think, for this mission is to move up to the river. So if we can at least push the Soviets up to the Oder in most places, then at least we'll have that secure and we can launch our offensives from there. Probably a good idea. Um, wherever I can. And of course, I do want to launch useful attacks wherever that's possible. These are mountains, so it's naturally going to be tough to attack there. There, now, there. Okay. So those are preliminary attacks that I got to make. I'm gonna try 
like what seems to be best to me in this area at the very least like we already got across so in order if we take a look here these guys uh, they also have another bridge there okay that, that makes it a bit more troublesome if I can get to Breslau from here and take it and then also swing in through here and down here those units will be cut off and I think that's what I want to go for here so break through in this area move to Oppeln and or these lower areas afterwards so we can cut off the Soviets uh, over here and then also up there as well But, like, this is 0 and 1, which is okay, but I'm a bit concerned. And it seems to be a bit better. Take Bressau. Okay, that gives me some transport. Which is not too bad. That wasn't the goal, but um, the goal here was, of course, to cut them off from that position. Uh, I do think, yeah, they get real transport from a lot of those places down there. So I would assume yeah, that we'll have to cut them on both areas. We might not be able to do that in one go, but I will definitely try. It's pretty much the goal for the US 5th at this moment. Mm -hmm. Trying to, at the very least, push the guys that are in there. Let's, if I can't move forward with the unit, let's attack the armor. Ah, wow. Okay. So, now, can I get something in there? Might not be able to. No. It was a bit too far. Uh, getting up here is nice, I suppose, but ah, that's the, the reason. Let's go for the free one. That's a bit sucky. I do admit. Um, let's move into the woods at the very least. I mean, it might be possible to hold that position, but uh, let's put you on counterattack. At the very least, they're likely to target the front unit. <clears throat> now, for you guys, they cannot go through the mountains, of course, so. They're going to have a tough time getting through regardless. Guess I'll just move them up for now. Fighting in this area is just not going to be super pleasant any which way. Alright, I do need to block this too, actually. Which is fine. 
I need to be on that particular hex. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can get to them on the next turn. Not super satisfied with this. I will use the HQs later once I've, you know, established myself everywhere. Made sure that uh, things are okay. So, yeah, they made the bridge crossing there. So I need to push them out. I can, at the very least, cut off this uh, these units. And they are on the wrong side of the river. Says US 5th Army as well. 60% for the city to go to ruin. Retreat 50%. Well, let's do this. not amazing could also use them to counterattack interesting to see what might potentially happen mm. this is the US third army that's that fine with them retreating there this means that they cannot cross anymore you can't attack across a major river. Let's move up. I need to get to Grunberg and then cut the enemy off. That's basically where I need to be at. And then I might be able to save this Polish army as well. The question is, am I gonna go in there with armor already? I do have a lot of armor in the back that I don't necessarily wanna use for, for this. I'm actually more inclined to send quite a bit of that armor up here if I can towards Frankfurt from honest mm. like putting armor in here and attacking is not super useful ah, okay must be the bad weather That is uh, a bit sucky, actually. Can you move in there? No, you can't. <sighs> Why does it always have to be on a bad patch? <laughs> bad, <laughs> bad weather is nearly always terrible. Um, right. Let's see if we can maybe <laughs> push through here. Seriously? It should be like 90% retreat. This is already US first, so even now I cannot get anybody in there. Hmm. All right, let's move further up. We'll s I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do there anyway, in a bit. Just one, one. Which is also clearly not good. If I want to rescue them, basically... Uh, 
This is the way to do it. Um, yeah, maybe having a platoon bridge would have helped there. But it's a bit late for that now. Wow. Yeah, for them to also not retreat is not amazing. Para drop 50 only. And how bad is it for you? 10. Let's try to increase those odds a little bit. But nope. Well, that's one paratrooper down. Like, uh, that's the risk with paratroopers. You fail your role and they are murdered. Let's see if I can still get them out of there. Hmm. Somehow I have the sensation that this is going to be a big butchery. You're very ill-placed. All right, let's get to the British, I guess, through this area, first and foremost. Otherwise, there's no overrun. Take Stetton. And attack. You would have... Yeah, they're both going to have zero. Enemy would have a hard time attacking through here because they have to fight through with that armor. Um, the only sensible way is by getting these in here. That's okay. Okay, so... We now... Like... For me, the most logical way to try and do this is to cut off the enemy also at Kustrin. Basically through this area, cutting off all Soviet forces in the center. That's uh, basically how I would do it. But you have no attack against them. It's super unfortunate. I do have Saturation Strike. Right, can I attack with anything? Yes, I can. S2. Mm, yeah, basically if it's that little, I'm just never going to be able to break through there. Well, at least not this turn. I'm quite sure I would have gotten to them if this patch of garbage wasn't there. Uh, super frustrating, actually. Let's try to create some space here for my units to move down to. As well. Your veterans, your elites. Oh, that's a bad attack. Wow, I didn't even... I got there quickly enough. Let's attack the calf. 
I do want to, at the very least, also attack their armor wherever I can. Regulars? Yeah. Do you have any decent attack anywhere? Nope. US First Army has no points left. Just crashing all of my engineers in there. It's just unbelievable how quickly they get destroyed, but. I almost have it as a rule of thumb that if you see an ON2 or ON1 and you have engineers, the engineers will die. I think that's actually a good, well, it's not a rule by itself, but I think it's exceptionally likely to occur. And uh, yeah, I think you're probably well off, actually. just adhering to it oh for suppression that's quite nice if yeah I wouldn't mind pushing it back there and are you elites too yes you are because The thing is that if I do that, can I get anything in there now? I don't think I can. No, th that doesn't help you at all. I think at least those guys are cut off, yeah. These guys aren't. Hmm. Shift them around. I really don't care if they want to cross there. Uh, why are you such poop? <laughs> uh, right. Thirty percent? No. <laughs> Look, it, it was worth a try. Although they would probably actually become. Uh... Yeah, actually, that that wouldn't have worked. They were silly. Uh, they would have just uh, been losing all their steps. I forgot the name for it. I'm not really. Uh... At my best here, I have to say. Mm, yeah, I'm just not feeling it that much. Oh. Let's move you up here. Not sure why, but. Uh, Uh, yeah, that's lovely. All right, well, you... I need to think about which units they are likely to attack. I would say these. And...
you cannot do anything about it. I'm actually quite willing to retreat to good positions there. You guys are probably fine with double artillery. So I'm not too worried there. Guys are already moving up. And they're stuck, huh? Yeah, they're cornered. That was the name. Cornered. Eh, too bad. Um, let's move you in here. I might be able to get them out on the next turn if they don't go crazy on them. That might be the case. But... Uh, are they on a... Yeah. Never mind. So what am I going to do next? Let's let's go back to these guys because now I want yeah, you guys cannot move up into the mountains even though you're mountaineers. Way to go. Uh you're already rear guard or you already counterattack. Let's have you counterattack. And you. Those three. I can see them attacking those three. That seems to be useless. If only you could have used Recon in Force. US 5th doesn't have any points left, just making sure that... Now if they did have points left... What use is putting you there? Nothing. Rather, I would use them in here. Let's stop there. I don't want these guys to get destroyed quickly. You know, running or going through all of the units individually is probably going to take a very long time here. Uh, what I'm going to do is you and Build another pontoon bridge. See, it's <laughs> well, uh, we linked up with them. <laughs> Let's just uh, call it that. We did. Um, yeah. Do we have any other Paris? I think only one of them died. It's not the end of the world. 
Um, any units that might be out of supply. Let's... Uh... Oh, come on. I can't... Yeah, okay. So I need to increase their range. I need to, at the very least, put one here. Increase this one. And then let's see which ones I might be able to get rid of as well. Not you. This one, for example, doesn't add anything currently. This one does. Okay, so that's it. First turn. Okay, fine. Yep, as expected. I mean, it's not all pre preventable. Basically, yeah. Couldn't. Uh... <laughs> I keep getting overruns, but. Really? Huh. Fair enough. Well. Wow. Damn. Soviets are harsh. Can you go back? You can't. Ah, uh, wow. Yeah, I'd hoped that they would, but... Uh, Butchered out here. Oh, they also have airplanes. Oh, gee. Training, huh? Man, that was harsh. That was harsh. Game has a little bit of uh, trouble uh, taking care of everything here. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. Yeah, two units died. Wow. All right, um, let's chase them. Seems like they. Trying to hold up there now. A range. Huh. Uh, we have a lot of armor there. Oh, but you can't do anything anymore, huh? Hmm. I guess the unfortunate thing is that something like that also does not give you any prisoners. So you're basically just... You you're, can't do that. 
that way. Keep harassing too. Mm -hmm. Go in here. Okay, I want the strongest unit to. I can already see that that will become a misery. Keep getting those uh, O and two odds to one one. It's not very helpful. Mm. I can be happy that at least I got an over on those. Okay, let's get to the back. Please retreat. Come here. Get into that hex. It also gives me a few more prisoners. I mean, I need 200 of them. After all. Which is quite nuts. Right, but I think I'm best off just letting these units um, starve in a way. Because that gives you a lot of prisoners. Like these guys will eventually turn into prisoners themselves if they just don't do anything. Um, I cannot do that for every one of these because these guys, for example, they're just in the way. So I cannot get it for them then. But if I, for example, just you know prevent the, these guys from doing anything in a few turns, they should be toast and they will give me a lot of stragglers now let's get into the woods and attack from there like i find this to be already quite risky So they'll be cut off for a second turn next turn. So I don't really need to do anything with them. Again, as long as I have a few units which are adjacent to it. I have to not worry. Or I don't have to worry. Although finishing them off in this case might again just be faster. And there are a lot of stragglers in there anyway. I have 15 now. This gets me to 18. That's not super much. say we need to rectify this here situation so first of all I'm 
Let's get rid of them. In here, attack, push them back. The goal. Again, would be to cut off the enemy here entirely now. Which would then mean that I would have to endure attacks for one turn at the very least. Like these are now almost all cut off. Some of them are cut off for a second turn. So those at least don't get to attack. Units like this. I would probably I can't even use counterattack for you guys. Neither for you. Not gonna lie, that is a problem. Why could I not do that though? If they stay in here... Oh yeah, they need to be in supply for that. Hmm... to say that I think it's probably for the best if some of these guys at the very least get weakened a bit. Units like this that will just be a major threat and uh, yeah I, I can't allow those to stay at full strength for now. Hmm. Yeah, my stragglers here also need to be protected, because otherwise they will take them. That's also no good. Mm, I'm not a big fan of Motor Pro, so let's just wait. Again, I'd rather make the obvious choices first, and then deal with the hard questions later. Could also sacrifice you. Uh, is there anything that could attack these? I don't think there is. The stragglers are in the way. I'm not too happy about it because it means that they get to attack from this side. At least on here. I do have two armored units there, but still. Another problem here is that I can't retreat with the poles unless I push these guys back. And even then, yeah, they cannot go a whole lot further. These apparently also don't really feel like attacking into the SU-100 elite tank division.
Do they actually get reinforcements? There are no reinforcements on this map. I got minus 96 from casualties already. Mm. Again, crossing is super dangerous. But at least the first US armored is now freed to continue moving. These guys are likely going to be a target. These guys are likely to be a target. And these guys are likely to be a target. Like I said, I want to box them in. Don't need to attack. They'll lose their strength points eventually. Now... Out here... They don't really seem to be able to counter this very well. So put something maybe there. to be a weird bog or something. Hmm. I have to say that I don't actually want them to be rear guard. can't really attack. That's fine. As for the second army. I think these guys will very likely also be fine, whereas I think that these guys might get attacked. A likely scenario. US first. Well. Some of these will very likely, like, they will just uh, be suicided. Like these, I don't see that 17th US Airborne surviving in any meaningful way. out well 
If they take that, that is actually inconsequential. So I can go through here. I can actually see them try and do that. But I wouldn't care, actually. You're fine. You guys... are not entirely done, but I can't get away from that hex. Let's move these up because I might need them there. And I can actually see both of these guys needing that. Okay. Really? You have such poor attacks, except you. Great, okay, they retreated. They'll need to get in here, but yeah, they're at 100, so that's just no good. U.S. Third Army is pretty much spent right now. Rather crazy that this is turn two. Right, if I want these guys with fifth army to be effective, I also kind of need to send them down. Uh, let's do that. Check supplies. Doesn't actually get past this. This one gets to be diminished by All right, let's uh, check the remainder of the units. You kind of need to stay in there. Although, I guess moving in here will... I mean, they can then go in there again. But they don't get supply there, so I'm fine. And this helps uh, these guys from attack a little bit with the movement. You... This is fine. Oh, that's actually city hex. Yeah, that's also okay. Here... They'll die if they go out there. But I'll move you back a little bit. I think these guys at the very least might get in there. I'm not feeling too good about these though. We'll see. You guys are okay. Not crossing at all. it
first. Going back up. Yeah, on these guys. But we already knew that they were going to be sacrificed. Okay. Mm-hmm. game is really not liking this. Ah, come on. Really? That's just a bunch of BS. They have to get super lucky to destroy two. I'm gonna pour in more armor. I don't know if that's such a great idea. Because I will once again encircle that armor though. Yeah, it's not that bad there, actually. Neither here. It seems like their counterattacks are dimming down a bit. They didn't even do anything there. that they still had two armor there but I think we made it through the very worst of the enemy attacks 